Delta's flight, another Boeing airplane, by the way, had one of its wheels come off it, down in Atlanta. I want you to see this video. It's incredible. I mean, by the way, the pilots, they're like so cool, calm and collected. I mean, I don't know how you say that. I, I, I credit them with being very, very sort of nonchalant about it all. But uh, listen to this clip. One guy's like, hey, you, you just lost a wheel, buddy. Delta 982, this is the aircraft looking at you. you. One of your nose tires just came off. It just rolled off the runway uh, behind you. All right, tell you what, let me uh, talk to maintenance tower. Uh, let me have a, uh, I'm going to contact our maintenance folks and see if we can get a tow in. Stand by one, please. Roger, Delta 982. Uh, tower, this is Delta 1780. So this is Delta. They lost a wheel there on the runway. And it comes on the heels of Virgin Atlantic. Atlantic, which was about to fly a plane, a little puddle jumper over to the U.S. into New York City from the U.K., one of the, the passengers on the flight noticed that it was missing some screws in the wing. I mean, this is great. This story, I, I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on with these airlines. New York City bound flight canceled when passenger notices missing bolts on the plane wing. Yeah, you think? Let's see, I think we have a close-up of this picture. You can see it's like literally missing the actual bolts. Come on. All right, so the passenger notices this and says something, so they cancel the flight. You get the flight that, that loses its wheel. Thank goodness it was on the takeoff as opposed to the landing. But think of the other problems that that presents. I mean, you got a wheel flying down the runway. What if somebody's trying to take off? This is not good. And we had the video I showed you just the other day of the engine that was on fire, of the plane leaving Miami. You think about what's going on with the door coming off the Boeing Max. For goodness sakes, this one. Wow. I mean, a, a child's stuffed animal was ripped out. Look at that. My gosh. Unbelievable. Just incredible, horrendous, scary stuff to see. I don't know where Pete is. Anybody know where Pete, little Petey is? You know, Mayor Pete? He's like our transportation secretary. Doesn't he have a cabinet position? I know he was like celebrating his birthday and stuff, but uh, you know, uh, come on, buddy. I think it might be worthy of a speech right about now. What are we doing? What are we doing to protect our skies? Again, this particular story seems to be rather emblematic of everything that's going on in the nation because we don't have our eye on the ball on anything. Not on the safety of our planes, not on our profits, not on our economy, not on our border. I mean, we are off, quite literally, in left field. Take a look at Virgin Atlantic. It's so proud. It's welcoming everybody. You know what? You can dress in whatever uniform you want at Virgin. This is their excitement over there. Okay, good. You know what? You, you go for that, Virgin. You do what you want to do. But make sure that you screw the screws in to the wings on the plane, okay? Boeing, you do what you wanna do. You're not, all of these guys, like they just, they need to focus on actually running the business. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is inherently part of the problem with this whole environmental social governance, ESG, because they're being rewarded for having, you know, the purple with pur purple hair or something on the board, as opposed to being rewarded for the profits that they're earning for their shareholders. And I should think shareholders should start suing because the shareholders are the ones that are losing out over and over and over again. 